And the two of IPOB, maybe you're not following me. Even yesterday, I spoke about Biafra being ended 53 years ago. It's all over the place in this place. I condemn all agitators, but in condemning them, you have to look at what thought about this agitation all over the place. It's not only IPOB. We have Yoruba Nation movement. We have of all sorts, when you have created this level of massive poverty, where 63% of your population is poor, you're going to create all sorts of problems. I was speaking to a British minister this morning. He said we have about 40% unemployment. We have about 60% youth unemployment. Young people in their productive age doing nothing. If you have 15% unemployment in Britain today, you're going to have massive, remember, agitation. Nobody will be able to leave his house. So what we are seeing is a 20 percent of leadership failure over the years, which will be solved by good governance. When people start seeing justice, fairness, and inclusive government and doing the right thing, all those things will start reversing itself. And that is what me and that is offering. I will talk and discuss with all agitators. There's nothing wrong in that. People agitate even in my house, and I talk with them. <laughs> so I'll deal with everybody. I'll show you of that. Don't worry about that. Then. On the issue of health, yes, we have a problem with health. We have underinvested. And because our government have not prioritized our development agenda, everybody knows that the only measure of development that is recognized globally today is human development index. And this is hanged on three items, life expectancy, which is health. And we are alone in that. Nigerian life expectancy today is about 50 something, as against global average of 72. So we're low. Same in education. So it's to prioritize that. I just gave somebody an example. In the past five years, from 2015 to 2021, Nigerian budget in health is under 2.5 trillion for 200 million people. It's unacceptable. So this year, our budget for health is about 1.5 trillion. Our budget for education is about 2 trillion. Two of them combined, annual budget is about 3.5 trillion. When your six month budget for subsidy, which is a criminalized, listen, it's 3.6 trillion. It's unacceptable. You have to put money in key development areas. As Professor Duffy had just mentioned, and I read out here, that what separates country rich and poor is health and education. So it's clear. So we will deal with it. But he said, how do you cover it? Nations of our size have covered it. How did India, for 1.4 billion people, cover the issue of health? How did Indonesia cover that? We have big nations that have done it well. People who don't know how to do it, we learn from them. There's nothing wrong in learning if you don't know how to do it. I'm going to take more questions. Now, there is someone who has such a strong arm. They've 